There are so many hoops that you have to jump through as a home buyer just in order to get the process started. In addition to figuring out if you are pre-approved, securing financing, you also have to fight inflation, which is super difficult right now and definitely cutting into the pockets of first-time home buyers and overall millennials like myself. I'm Nicole Nark, Arkansas real estate broker, and in today's video, I want to share the secret to finding your dream home. After helping hundreds of buyers, I can confidently tell you there are some things that you really need to know if you're going to be successful in today's home buying climate. So let's get right into it. If you're toying with the idea of buying a home, the first thing that I need you to understand is that you need to know your must-haves. What I want you to do is sit down and make a must-haves list. If you are buying as an individual, this is pretty easy. Just grab a notebook, start jotting things down. But depending on your situation, maybe you are in a relationship, maybe you are planning for your family, whoever the key decision makers are in your household who are going to be a part of this transaction, Gather them together and make your must-haves list of what you need in your first home. It's so easy to get distracted when buying a house. So during the home buying process, you're gonna be able to rely on your must-haves list. I can tell you confidently that after you are looking at home number five, home number six, they're all gonna start looking the same, you're gonna feel overwhelmed and you're gonna go, I don't know, what to make an offer on, or maybe there's multiple offer situations everywhere and you're just so frantic and confused. This is when you rely on your must-haves list. Some things that you wanna put on this list are number of bedrooms, bathrooms, overall location, if you have a specific neighborhood or school district that's important to you. All of this should be on your must-haves list. This is like the backbone of your home purchase and will make the process go a lot smoother because I can promise you, Overall, it's gonna be an easy process, but there are going to be overwhelming moments when you are gonna be thankful that you have this list to fall back on. The second secret to finding your dream home might seem pretty common, pretty self-explanatory, but it's setting a realistic budget. Now, let me dive into this with you. Of course, you've heard me talk about how important it is to know how much you can get approved for when it comes to your financing. But let me tell you something, lenders are great, but they are going to give you your maximum that you are pre-approved for. That doesn't necessarily mean that this is going to be a comfortable payment for you and your finances. Now, the reason that this comes about is because lenders are going to be taking into consideration your pre-tax income when telling you how much you can afford. Well, obviously, <laughs> taxes have just come around. Taxes are going to take a chunk out of your income. So there's that to factor in. Additionally, there's not a bunch of reoccurring expenses that your lender is going to take into consideration. They're not going to consider maybe daycare that you have to pay for for your kids. They're not going to take into consideration how much you spend like me on Starbucks or coffee in general, or just overall living expenses like gas, food, your clothing, whatever you might need. So even before you start talking to a lender, it's a great idea to start thinking about what is a realistic budget for me. Now, if you're already used to paying rent, then you might already be used to this. Okay, if I can afford a $1,500 a month rent payment, then I know that I can pretty much afford, you know, comfortably a $1,500 mortgage payment and still be able to cover all of my necessary living expenses. So think about this to yourself. What would be the most comfortable amount for you? Then you can start toying around with different mortgage calculators to see what different payments would look like on properties when it comes down to a monthly payment basis. Of course, once you've figured out what your comfort range is, you'll wanna go ahead and speak with a lender. There are so many great lenders out there and if you are wanting to get started, remember I have that link in my description to where you can set up a pre-approval consultation call and get rolling with that. So please, before you start looking at any homes, make sure that you set a budget for yourself and get pre-approved so that you know your finances are in check. As a home buyer, it is so important to work with a reputable real estate agent. Now, I didn't just say any real estate agent, I said reputable. This is something I downplayed a ton when I bought my first house. I just went onto a mega online 
real estate website. I clicked, I want to see this house and the real estate agents all over my town just started calling me and bombarding me with messages. And that's how I ultimately got connected with one. Not really the best method, I would say. It is super important to work with a reputable real estate agent in your area because they are going to know the ins and outs of the area. Do you know what areas may or may not need flood insurance? Do you know history on certain neighborhoods? Probably not, especially if you happen to be semi new to an area. So working with a real estate agent who is well versed on your loan type, who knows your area is 10 out of 10. Now, in order to know that you are working with a great agent, there's a few things that you can do. You can obviously ask for a referral from a friend or family member. They may have you know, worked with a great agent that they would love to get you connected with. You can also just look online, read reviews on different real estate agents. And if you wanna take it a step further, if you go to the description of this video, there is a link where you can tell me about where you are buying, a little bit about your situation, and I will help you get connected with someone great in your area. Now keep in mind, this is at no cost to you. So most of the time, I would say 99, probably 0.9% of the time, working with an agent as a buyer is going to come at no cost to you. There isn't really a reason not to work with a real estate agent. The next thing that you wanna keep in mind is that being patient and flexible is so important, especially if you are looking for a dream home. Now, when I say dream home, I don't necessarily mean forever home, you know, white picket fence on acreage, you know, rainbow over the house, right? What I'm talking about is whatever your dream home is for the current time being, right? So that can take a little bit to find, especially if you really do have that must haves list because overall nationwide right now, we are still low on inventory. So being patient, being flexible with your timeline is going to give you the upper hand. There are a few things that I want you to keep in mind here. Remember one of the first few things I said is making your must haves list. Now, don't be afraid to alter or change those must haves. So maybe instead of saying, I wanna be exactly in this one city or this one neighborhood, maybe as time goes on and you look at different homes, you realize that maybe you don't have the budget to be in that area. Maybe there's just not the right style of home, the right condition of home available for you at the time you're trying to buy. Just know that over time that must haves list may change. In order to find your dream home, be open to the idea, be flexible, and know that maybe the area changes. You might need to look at different areas of homes, different styles of homes to know what you really like. I can't tell you how many times I have shown homes to buyers and they have said, Nicole, I've looked at the pictures. I really don't like it. I don't want to see it. And me, I'll just be like, look guys, listen, I, I've, I've been hearing your criteria. I've been walking through these homes with you and I really think that you would like this. Let's just go check it out. If you hate it, tell me and we'll move on. I cannot tell you how many times that they have actually bought that house. Sometimes you just have to trust the process and be flexible to different opportunities as well. As long as we're checking most of the must haves list and this is a home that you can see yourself being in for a good few years, Sometimes being patient and flexible can ultimately lead you to your dream home, whether it be one that exactly meets your list or something altogether different that you didn't even know you wanted. Another secret to finding your dream home and overall a successful home buying purchase is to consider your future needs. This is so important because ultimately, I'm gonna go ahead and say that you're probably gonna be buying a house and living in it for let's say at least three years. So let's take me for example, you know, I don't have any kids, so I may not need to take into consideration school district, but if I live in this house for multiple years to come, that might be something that's going to be important to me in the future. So you need to think about things like that. Will this home fit my needs? You know, am I older? Do I think I can handle stairs for a long time? Will I enjoy, you know, living in a condo on the top floor and having to bring my dog down in the elevator or a bunch of stairs 
to go to the bathroom all the time. All of these things are important and definitely should be considered. Additionally, also take into consideration your work. Are you working in an office right now? Would you potentially need the opportunity to work from home? What would that space look like? So there are a lot of different things that you need to consider. So I would encourage you to reflect on what you might need in the future and try to choose a home now that would accommodate both your current and your future needs for ultimate financial success. So to summarize, my biggest secrets to finding your dream home are one, know your must-haves, two, stick to your budget, three, work with a great agent, four, have a flexible timeline, and five, make sure to plan ahead and keep your future needs in mind. If you keep all of these in mind and use them as tools during your home buying process, I know that you're going to be successful and ultimately end up buying a great home for the next few years. As you start your home buying journey, don't forget that you can find additional resources in the description of this video, so make sure to check those out. If you have any other questions, comment them below. And if you found this video helpful, make sure to smash that like button. I'm Nicole Nark, Arkansas real estate broker with videos to help you find your way home. And I will see you in the next one.